good morning, and good morning, God. Perhaps the greatest figure of faith representing belief in the Old Testament is Abraham, or earlier in his life, Abram. Abram means exalted father. Abraham means father of multitudes. And when God appeared to Abram, he had no children of his own, 75 years old, golden years of life, senior citizen, already getting his social security. Okay, maybe not, but, but definitely not a spring chicken, not someone who is thinking of planning and starting a family with his wife, Sarai, who had become Sarah. But still, God appears to him, says, leave your home, leave your country, leave everything you know, embark on an adventure with me. And the greater promise is this, I will bless you and your wife, and I will bless all nations, the entire world, through you. Abram chose to believe, left home, began to follow God, walk in fellowship with God, believing that this promise would come to fruition. It wasn't always easy to believe. In fact, by the time he was nearly 100 years old, they still did not have that child together. And God appeared to Abram once more. Genesis 17, starting in verse 1. When Abram was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to him and said, I am El Shaddai. I am God Almighty. Walk before me and be blameless. Verse 2. I will confirm my covenant between me and you and greatly increase your numbers. That's exactly what happened. Within the next year, Sarai would become pregnant. Abraham and Sarai would welcome Isaac into the world. And through Isaac, the lineage of Jesus would be established through Isaac. Truly, the world would be blessed centuries down the road. There are challenges in life that each of us face. Small challenges you might face today, perhaps big challenges you will face today. We often think of, you know, health challenges, financial challenges, career challenges, family challenges. Some of those challenges are invisible, are within us, voices within us, stories that we have believed about ourselves from early on. Some of those challenges are challenges of depression and stress that other people can't even see that we deal with. Some of them are challenges that have to do with our own identity. Who am I? And we believe things about ourselves, about who we are, about who we have been and who we will be, our destiny. Things that aren't true. Will we, like Abraham, choose to believe God? Choose to believe that we walk in fellowship with him, that we are God followers, that our identity is wrapped up in him. He tells us we matter. He tells us he has a plan for us. The invitation today is to believe in God, the God of Abram, El Shaddai, God Almighty, that whatever I face today, I may not be up to it, but God and I are up to it together. Let's pray. Good morning, El Shaddai. Good morning, Lord God Almighty. Whatever the ups and downs of today, whatever the struggles in my situation or within me, the voices that speak within me, may they be quieted in the shadow of you. Lord God Almighty, I put my faith in you. I will set out on an adventure with you today, believing that I'm not alone. 
I enjoy your presence. And I have the encouragement of other God followers, of other believers. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for being the fulfillment of that promise made to this elderly gentleman so long ago. Truly, all of the world has been blessed through Abraham, through his step of faith, through the fulfillment of promise made to him and his elderly wife, that they would have a child. You are still in the business of doing miracles, big and small. I choose today to trust in you. In the name of Jesus, amen.